so excited. Hello guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm so excited to go thrifting today. It's been a minute and I have a giant list of things and I figured I'll go try to thrift them before I like buy them off Poshmark or buy them new. I'll read you guys my list. Winter coats are like top, top, top of my list. Whether it's like a trench coat, a wool coat, a fur coat, a fur trimmed coat. I do think I prefer like a long coat. I've been eyeing a few on Poshmark and I just, I have a feeling that I can get something better thrifting. And if I can't, then I'll order them on Poshmark. Knee high boots. If I just see any funky, cute knee high boots or really any shoes, cute bags, anything with like color or a cool pattern, I'm really, really tired of all of my neutrals in my closet. It makes me feel so boring. I'm looking for like maybe more stripes or geometrics or I kind of like florals too, honestly. We're all over the place. I want to check out the dresses. It can be like winter or spring or summer. I'm not really going to be picky. Just dresses in general. Skinny scarves and blanket scarves. Two opposite ends of the spectrum. I love them both. I love the look of a gigantic chunky scarf. And I think that the skinny scarves are really cute. Leather gloves, I want just like, there's a ton on Poshmark, but before I order one, like I said, I want to try to thrift it. Maxi skirts, specifically a denim maxi skirt, a leather maxi skirt, maybe a pleated skirt, something cute, I don't know. Um, metallic heels, it kind of goes in with the shoes and like belts and accessories, belts, sunglasses, jewelry, all that kind of stuff, so. A very long list. I think I can find a lot of it today. I'm very excited. Let's just, let's get started. Let's go. I forgot that it was like winter break when I went on this trip. So everything was so busy. So we're gonna do a voiceover. I saw this like sparkly vest and thought that it could be a moment. I also saw this pink top, but I ended up not even trying this on. I just thought it was kind of cool. I didn't really have a direction that I was going with tops. I was just looking for things that caught my eye. But this was the direction that I was going for a fur trimmed coat. I just didn't like the length and I didn't think that the colors would suit me. I thought these pants were kind of cute, but they were just kind of torn up. I felt like I found a lot of things in this store, but I didn't really have a, any luck with a ton of them. I found this leather skirt that I did end up trying on. I just wish it was a little bit longer, but it was 100% genuine leather, so that's cool. I headed over to the shoes because they had a giant rack and I saw these basic nude heels. It looked like they were barely worn. And I also saw these like silver metallic ones, but I just didn't really vibe with them, but they were kind of cute. I really want to expand my bag collection. So I headed over to the bag and I grabbed a couple of cute ones, but I didn't end up leaving with either of them. They just weren't really what I was going for. This specific thrift store does have a fitting room. I tried on this like green emerald coat and I really wanted to love it, but the sleeves were too short and I've already learned my lesson with that one with thrifted coats before. And I just wish it was longer. I don't like when the coats hit me like above my knee. I just think it's an unflattering length on me. This was that gray top that I picked up. It was definitely a no, just too big. This vest gave me the most Hannah Montana vibes ever. Like I was living my best of both worlds moment, but I did not take this home with me, sadly. <laughs> Here's me trying on that leather skirt I was telling you about. It was a little big and I really just wish it was longer. If it was longer, it would have been perfect, sadly. I just didn't love this length on me. Okay, this was the second store I went to and I started off in the dresses. It was super busy too. I don't know what it was about this like weekend. The zebra print was kind of interesting, not really my vibe, but I did find a couple good options here, which I was pretty happy about. I thought this was so cool. It wasn't my size, nor do I have the boobs to like pull it off, but it would be perfect for somebody. My main focus of this trip was definitely colors and patterns, but I did walk out with some neutral basics. I can't help myself. I thought this black crocheted dress would be kind of cute, but it just didn't fit me right. There were some other cool tops and coats that I came across. This one right here gives me very mean girls and it's just not my vibe but it could be cute for somebody i loved this sheer mesh top that i found i thought it was really cool and then we went to the last store again with the dresses we saw this cute little flapper moment but not for me i think i found one dress here yeah, right there. I love the color. I love that it's a knitted material. And then I went over to bags and accessories. I found this super cute little crochet bag. Obviously picked that up. I thought it was adorable. I thought about this one, but it just wasn't really for me. The strap was like weirdly long and I couldn't really adjust it that much. There were some other cute bags, but nothing that really caught my eye. So I headed over to shoes and had a nice little browse around the shoe area. Saw these cowboy boots, which if you know my opinions on cowboy boots, but these were kind of cute. 
cute. I can't believe I'm saying that. Maybe I'm changing my mind. I came across these little Chanel-esque flats and I also found these metallic flats. I just don't really know how I would style flats. They're not really my kind of shoe, but I think they are so cute on some people. I also saw these super cute like red Mary Janes, which really just reminded me of The Wizard of Oz, but I think they could be cute for somebody. Then I headed over to the skirts. I saw this brown leather skirt. I don't wear a lot of brown, so I put it back, but kind of cute. I found this amazing pink skirt. It was like a flowy A-line with this really cool pattern on it and it was great quality and I was so tempted to get it but I truly just do not know how I would style this. I don't know if it would like flatter me. I don't know if this cut would flatter me. I was so torn. I ended up putting it back but looking back that pattern was gorgeous. Okay next we headed over to jackets and this place was literally the jacket and coat jackpot. I found like 12 coats that I had to try on and narrow them down and the fact that I only left with three is impressive for a shopaholic like myself. Also I thought this vest could be cute but I put it back. Okay guys it's the next day everything has been cleaned and I am so excited to give you guys this haul and I'm also gonna throw in some stuff that I've ordered off Poshmark too. Let's get started. Dresses were on my list. I really wasn't picky when it came to the kind of dress and I was also on the hunt for color and pattern just to get some interest into my wardrobe. Of course, the first thing is black and white. I got this just like super casual black and white, like midi blank dress. I think it's super cute, super simple. I like that even though it's black and white, it's still striped. So it has like a little bit of interest in it. The fabric is super comfy. I think this was like 850. I think I can style this like a million different ways. I think it's just a great basic. The next one I got was this knit mock neck midi dress in this beautiful maroon color. I love this color on me. I think it's so cute. It has this little cutout right here. I don't know if it's supposed to be the front or the back, but honestly, I think I could wear it either way. I love the length. I love that it's knitted so that I could wear it in the fall and winter. This one was $10. It's from the brand Say What. The last dress I got is like the most summery thing ever. It is this long blue floral maxi dress. The skirt is like tiered and it has ruffles and I have nothing like this. I think it would also be fun for like right now to style this with like a leather jacket and boots to try and like switch it over into winter and fall. So that's what I'm going to try to do with, I haven't filmed the try on yet, but that's what I'm going to try to do with this. So if it works out, you'll see it over here. This is the first skirt that I thrifted. I think this was like just a couple bucks. It is this navy and blue like checkered pattern i really like navy because it's basically a neutral but it still gives an outfit a little bit of dimension i just think this is a cute mi mini skirt i like that it didn't have a slit on it i really want to pair this with like a black turtleneck and tights and black boots i think it would just look so chic and maybe like a headband i have a whole idea for this and i think it's gonna look really cute okay the next pair of pants i have been looking everywhere for a pair of pants like this like for months so i cannot believe that i found the perfect pair thrifting i think these were like seven dollars these are just a pair of linen cotton trouser pants these are full length which was the hardest thing to find i found like a million pairs of pants like this but they're cropped and i just don't think the crop looks as good on me these are made out of 55 percent linen 45 percent cotton and they are perfect for summer. I think I will get so much wear out of them. They feel so just like light and airy. I got this denim midi skirt. It doesn't have a slit in the front, but it has a slit in the back so that like, you know, you can walk. It is slightly tight on me, but I think I could like just take it out like an inch or like a half an inch and it would be fine. It does have pockets. I think they're super cute. I am so happy I found this. I think it's adorable. I really want to find like a maxi denim skirt. This one's definitely more midi length. I got three jackets. First, I got this one. It is just this like navy trench coat and it has this like beige collar. I wasn't sure about the beige collar at first. Um, or is it like green? I don't know, but it's a different color. After like trying it on and wearing it a little bit, I think that it just gives a little bit more interest and I like it. And it has these really cool like vintage buttons on it, which I think are super, super cool. This one has like a drawstring built in. So 
it like naturally tapers in at the waist which i can appreciate in a trench coat because sometimes these just look like a paper bag on me. The next one I got is also a trench coat. This is from the men's section. It's just this like khaki, taupey, I don't know, kind of neutral color. It gives me very like utilitarian vibes. It has a belt so that I can cinch the waist if I want to. This is a men's large, so it's more oversized. I think this one was 15 and the other one was 13. And then the best jacket find of the entire trip, I found this beautiful fur coat for 36 bucks. I don't know if it is real fur. I kind of don't think so because there's no tag or anything on the inside. It is this black fur coat and I think it's like brown. Like I think it's just like a dark brown collar and cuffs with these super cool black and gold buttons i love it it looks so luxurious i've wanted a fur coat or a faux fur coat for a while and i was browsing them on poshmark i just think it's perfect for like a date night a night out in the winter you just need something to keep you warm but that like also like you know it doesn't ruin your outfit and this is the perfect coat and i think i want to wear it on new year's eve but that's in like three days so i highly doubt i can get it dry cleaned in time and it really does just smell like an old lady so i don't know but it is perfect and i'm so happy i found it i got three shirts the first one it looks really weird on the hanger i got this off poshmark this was my favorite freaking poshmark purchase i've ever had this is a wool and cashmere like turtleneck sleeveless top and it's max mara there's the tag i got this for 30 dollars, and the best part about it is you can't tell but it's an open back and it just ties with this ribbon and it is beautiful it's so soft i am so excited to style it i cannot believe it i have no idea how old it is it might be vintage max mara i don't really know i love it and it was 30 dollars, which i'm sure is a great deal and I'm super excited to style it. From the most expensive shirt to the cheapest, I picked up this black satin tank top, just this super basic black top. It was $1.50. It's not like the best quality ever, like I could definitely get a better one, but I didn't have a shirt like this. I have one in white, which I wear all the time, so I figured I would get a decent amount of use out of this. Super cute for $1.50, you can't really go wrong. It even has adjustable straps. I'm so excited for this one. It is this mesh, sheer like turtleneck in this white and black houndstooth color or pattern i have so many ideas for this we've obviously seen like the mesh layers everywhere it seems like for the past year or so i was so excited to thrift this because i feel like i can do so many things and it's a little bit more interesting than just like a black mesh layering top when i first grabbed it it was giving like shein just because it's this mesh fabric but it's actually white house black market so i assume it's decently well made and i'm super excited i grabbed this like like just simple crochet shoulder bag um i think it's so cute and so simple and i think it would be great for summer i love the color and i love the length of the strap it like fits perfectly on your shoulder but like still gives your arm like room <laughs> it feels really well made it was four dollars and 79 cents and i think it's super cute you guys have heard me hate on the y2k trend a little bit on this channel but i realize that it is not going anywhere and y2k is kind of here to stay so i'm trying to figure out how to hit that y2k trend a little bit but still feel like myself and i saw this bag it gives very like slouchy hobo y2k vibes especially with the strap but it's still a basic piece you can tell i'm going for the y2k vibe so for five dollars i'll take it and i think it's super cute just like a cute casual bag i got these super basic just tan stilettos pointed toe they're from the brand nine west they look like they have barely been worn they look like completely unworn on the inside and then the soles are like pretty clean they were six dollars and they are perfect and i didn't have a basic like this so i'm excited to have these i feel like these will get a ton of use okay next i got some scarves and i'm not going to take them off of this hanger because they're a pain in the ass to get back on these are all from poshmark i ordered these i think i got all three of them for like 30 bucks i got this chunky calvin klein like white and gray scarf then i got this super chunky like blue plaid 
scarf. It's from uh, Bloomingdale's, it's the brand Aqua. And then I got this like blue skinny scarf. I think skinny scarves are so cute and they are all new with tags. They all have the tags on them. And I got them for 30 bucks. Anyway, that was everything I got. I know it was a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe down below. For more videos like this, I upload every single week and give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really helps out my channel. And then leave me a comment telling me what is on your thrift wish list right now. What are you trying to find? What are you on the hunt for? Right now, I'm still on the hunt for a leather skirt because I haven't found one and I know I can. So we're going to manifest it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.